There's a feeling you get when you're surrounded with the things that you love. A feeling of warmth and safety that only the familiar sights and sounds that have been with you your whole life can give you. Little things like hills and trees, or a building you like, or a familiar path that comfort you and make you feel welcome. That fill you with the knowledge that you're exactly where you belong. This is my place, where I feel I belong. Morgantown, my home. Morgantown is the largest city in North Central West Virginia. A place tucked away in the natural beauty of the Appalachian Mountains. Morgantown, or Motown as some of the locals call it, is a place of amazing diversity surrounded by rolling hills, lakes and rivers, and natural wonders. Home to interesting people, fantastic architecture, and the unique personal rapid transit or PRT system. I'm from a place called Cheat Lake. Um, it's probably about eight miles away from here, uh, but everything that my family would do circled around Morgantown, the Morgantown area. I feel that Morgantown is becoming slowly but surely one of the better places in West Virginia to be if it wasn't already. Morgantown is definitely a more happening area than the rest of North Central West Virginia. Um, there's always something to do so you should never be bored. My ties to Morgantown, I'd, I'd say they run deep. It's, it's not just where I'm from, but it, it's in my blood, it's in my heart, it's in my soul. No matter where I go, if I leave, it's always going to be in me. and. I'll probably never stay away for too long, you know, I mean, I feel it's kind of like ingrained as a part of me. My ties to Morgantown are pretty, they run deep now um, since I've been here so long. Morgantown is more than just where I'm from, you know, it's, it's part of who I am. Uh, the community in Morgantown is, well, like anywhere, it's pretty varied, but for the most part I've had a really positive experience there and even friends who've come in from out of town have before they've left said said things like I really don't want to go home people here have been so nice to me. Morgantown has so much to offer and I try to be a part of as many of those different areas of the culture here as I can. And Morgantown kind of sucks you in and doesn't let you leave because I mean it really is a nice place to stay. Uh, even whenever I was growing up I felt like I was in this little protective bubble. You know, it, it's almost this town in a bubble that's not represented by or representative of the rest of West Virginia. We, us people of Morgantown, have always had a really strong sense of community. It has almost a down south mentality, you know, of, of taking care of people. Everybody helps each other out. Everybody, you know, holds the door open for you, that kind of thing. I think Morgantown is, is a place where most people can feel safe and you know it's it's a nice place to be and the people seem to be genuinely good for the most part and you can't say that about everywhere it, it has that sense of a big city without being a big city you know it's it's really just a big town this place still has the feel of a small town to me and even though it's getting busier every year um, I think it's adapting to it I think that the heartbeat of Morgantown would probably be the people I think, I, I think the heartbeat of Morgantown is really just the people. I think that what makes Morgantown's heartbeat is the diversity, the, the diversity of the people here. I mean, we are kind of a, a melting pot. We're pretty eclectic and kind of neat. You can find, no matter what you're into, you can find a little bit of just about everything in Morgantown. 
one thing that I really like is that I can go downtown, I can eat some really awesome food. You know, we've got like lots of really cool like different restaurants um, and it's not too commercialized with like all these different chains. I'm Chef Marion Olinger, you're at the Richwood Grill. Uh, we're Morgantown's first and finest farm to table restaurant and uh, you're actually standing looking back into our bar right now, so, which is my favorite part of course. My wife and I built this entire place from an empty garage and I can show you some old pictures and it's uh, Sometimes I see those pictures and I think, good lord, what, were we insane? I mean, it had no ceilings, it had no floors, it had no walls. This was an empty garage. It was condemned. So, yeah, that's, that's how far this place has come. So, yeah, two years. So, so we're 100% independent. We don't own it. We don't owe anybody. Nobody tells us what to do. I love that. So, this is a punk rock restaurant. What we do is whatever we want. So. So if we decide we're going to do something you know, new and different, we just simply do it. The specialty dinners on you know, the cuisine of Zanzibar and fun stuff like that. You know? And we're pulling all this stuff off using local ingredients. So the local farmers are growing all kinds of cool stuff. We had farmers like asking us, calling us up, going, hey, we grew 20 pounds of this this year and nobody wants it. Well, we would find a way to use it. We make up dishes to work with this stuff. Everything is, every single thing here is made in-house. Uh, the ham today, we bought two 40-pound hams, we cured them for six weeks, we hung them downstairs to, to air dry, and then we smoked them, and that's what we served today. Uh, we also had three full sides of pork, and we cured and brined and smoked our own bacon for this. So, uh, to me, that's what being a chef means. Pretty much everybody here wants to support the local businessmen which is really kind of cool. I helped out in a few other kitchens for other chefs doing pastry and that sort of thing while we were building this place. Uh, I did uh, almost two years as the catering chef for Full Bowl Catering in Mario's Fishbowl, uh, which is a Morgantown legend and an institution, and Mark and Karen are great people. Mario's Fishbowl is a popular watering hole best known for its aptly named Fishbowl beer glass. Right down the street from the Richwood Grill, it's a homey little diner where owners Mark and Karen Fafari offer the best wings in Morgantown and a laid-back down-home atmosphere. Another great place to grab a few cold ones is the Morgantown Brewing Company, aka the Brew Pub. Their unique selection of flavors such as Zach Morgan's Pale Ale, Old Morgantown Amber, and Coal City Stout are brewed in-house by their expert staff and will definitely keep you coming back for more. Not far away is the Blue Moose Cyber Cafe, where you can get not only a great beer, but also a variety of different coffee blends and all natural foods, including a number of vegetarian dishes, as well as awesome shakes and smoothies. It's an intellectual hot spot with live music, literary readings, and art exhibits. Within walking distance of both the Brew Pub and Blue Moose is a Motown favorite, Black Bear. Black Bear is an innovative restaurant with a crowd-pleasing menu of ethnic food and an Appalachian atmosphere that embraces the culture and music of West Virginia. Um, my favorite thing is the Good Calypso. It's our flatbread sandwich. If you like something spicy, our special this week is awesome. And Sergeant Pepper is really good and the bear trap's good. It's one of our biggest sellers. All right, I'll take the bear trap. And then also, if you wanted to go for a hike, you can, you know, go five minutes and find an awesome trail. Uh, if you wanted to go skiing, that's not very far away. If you wanted to go, um, I mean, Cooper's Rock is a big, a big thing. Names for a legendary fugitive, Cooper's Rock State Forest is one of the area's most stunning attractions. The view from the overlook is absolutely spectacular. The area is full of possibilities like hiking and biking on its many trails, swimming and boating on nearby Cheat Lake, hunting, fishing, camping, and rock climbing. You know, we have a lot of really awesome landmarks, like Woodburn Hall is one of them. I mean, it, it's an icon. Everybody knows what it is, just, you know, even if they see the silhouette. I think some of the things that stand out most to me are, are the murals on the sides of some of the buildings in downtown Morgantown that have lasted through all this time. If you go on the one of the side over there by Daniels, you know, that was always so unique. Tying it all together is High Street, the main thoroughfare, running right through the center of downtown. 
somewhat bustling but also laid back, it started with small businesses and historic buildings. The Metropolitan Theater has been a long-standing entertainment destination since 1924. The stately neoclassical architecture creates the perfect ambiance for a variety of entertainment including plays, concerts, stand-up comedy, and more. Uh, the buildings on campus, you know, a lot of them have been gutted and remodeled on the inside, but on the outside they still have that that old school feel to them. Things in Morgantown that have stuck in my mind, obviously, Hotel Morgan. You usually see it, the Hotel Morgan glowing red over top of the skyline downtown. Built in the year 1925, the Hotel Morgan is one of the premier hotels in the country and one of Morgantown's most historic landmarks. It's one of, I think it's one of the most easily recognizable things in town. Uh, the shop Cool Ridge, I always am able to recognize Cool Ridge because of the cool things they have uh, outside of it. The Coliseum, you know, the Coliseum I think stands out as one of the, you know, the most unique buildings in college sports. Game day at the Coliseum is a sight to behold. Part of the university and home of the Mountaineers. Home games at the Coliseum usually mean a packed house. Mountaineer spirit is a way of life for the people of Motown and something in which they take a good bit of pride. I've, I've always felt that the stereotypes that go with being from West Virginia, not even Morgantown, but West Virginia in general, have always been really, really childish, really immature. Mm -hmm. My entire life I've lived here, and never once have I met someone who even vaguely fits the stereotypes that are given to us. We are not the dumb hillbillies that everybody said that, you know, that people from other states sure. stereotype sure. us as. You want to think this about us? Not only am I going to show you that you're wrong, but I'm going to totally change your point of view. I'm going to totally change your way of thinking. That's one of the reasons why it surprises people that we're so nice around here. Yeah. Because they think we're, we're chaw spitting picks who shoot you as, the, as soon as look at you. Right. But we're not like that at all. And the more people come here and, and experience us, and the more it changes their viewpoint of West Virginia and Morgantown in particular. I think that inspires people and gives people the passion to push harder and to not stop. And I, I think that fuels us immensely. It's that fighting spirit, man. That's being a mountaineer. All of my friends, you know, are educated. We all have good jobs. I would definitely say that the university fuels Morgantown. Without the university, it would be hard to have this kind of expansion. You know, there are a lot of people who um, have gone to school here. They lived here for 40 years, and then all of a sudden they decide to go get an actual a college degree because it's convenient. And WV is such a prestigious school, so it gives us a lot of opportunities. Always has something going on. The university's been here for a long time, and every year it draws more people in. The mountain lair, or the lair as students call it, is central to campus life. A meeting place and hangout spot that celebrates cultural diversity and showcases the fact that WVU draws students from all over the world. It's teeming with Mountaineer spirit and on its lawn can be found a statue of the local mascot, the Mountaineer himself. Everybody here loves the Mountaineer. Our mascot stands as the character that unites everybody. When it came to Morgantown and where you're from, and especially with Mountaineer Pride and having, you know, the sports team, you know, you always felt like you were a part of something special. You always felt like if you went to a Mountaineer game, especially that everyone around you, you're there for the same purpose. And yeah, it's just a sporting event, but it's more than that because it's something that people were united in. We don't have a pro sports team, so we have the Mountaineers. So we will root for them with every ounce of everything we have and, and with more, more hatred and passion and, and intense feeling than some people would root for their pro sports teams. So, you know, that seems to have brought people together. Morgantown feels exclusive to being able to be called themselves, you know, call themselves Mountaineers. Um, and that's, I mean, part of being, 
having WVU here, uh, going to the football games, that's a really big thing, or at least watching the football games. Normally, it seems like everything stops in Morgantown. The Mountaineer tradition is strongest around uh, football season. Everybody walks around town wearing the blue and gold. It's a chance for everybody to get out and gather in their favorite places and cheer the team on, whether they're at the stadium or uh, at a restaurant or at a bar. It's, a, it's not an excuse, it's an, ex it's an occasion to, to get together because we're with each other every day. But uh, when something like that happens in Morgantown, we, we all enjoy it together. Ladies and gentlemen, your West Virginia cross country and track teams. Be a part of the newest LVD game day tradition, the Mountaineer Band Trip, next Saturday at approximately 10 30 a.m. Mountaineer Band Trip is the team walk to the stadium from the corner of Dolphin and Drive and Med Center Drive between the blue and light blue lots. Be there to greet the team as they arrive for the game and make their way to the stadium. Swiss pass complete to Bradley Starks. What is community like with the Mountaineer fan, you know, when you see him in another area, just by recognizing the symbol, the flying WV, I mean, it's, you're seeing something that's home away from home and you just, you know, want to go and talk about it and, you know, and, and share in it and revel in it and be like, you know, West Virginia, Morgantown, you know, Mountaineers. I've been to places um, out of Morgantown where if there's some kind of sporting event going on in Morgantown, I'm able to find people who will be screaming, let's go Mountaineers, mm -hmm. if there's some kind of sporting event going on, which is always really fun. Uh, I was down to Disney World and I saw a guy with a flying WV hat and then my mom automatically started talking with him and he was just the nicest dude and he just went to school here. Right. But he's still a huge WVU fan. I was in Baltimore walking out of a hotel and I had a baseball cap with a Gator Bowl logo on it and I heard this, go Mountaineers. You know, I pulled up at a Walmart in New Jersey. There was a license plate on the guy's car right in front of me. He was sitting in his car. I got out and, you know, outside of the big city and probably why what I was told wasn't a good area. So what? Went right up to the window and knocked on the window. Hey, hey, man, I just came from Morgantown. Oh, Mountaineers, yeah, what about the... Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's, it is community and it's, it's, you know, family ties, you know, and it's... It's just, it's lovely, man. Um, no matter where you go in Morgantown, you see different people doing a variety of different things. Um, I've been involved in some community service as well, and I have seen the impacts on the community with keeping up, like, you know, for instance, some of the parks and some of the other areas. Um, the arts also are very big in Morgantown, and I see um, the community keeping those alive. The Arts on the River Festival features work by local artists bringing the community together to celebrate their eclectic tastes. The Creative Arts Center houses an art gallery and several performance halls, as well as classrooms for the university's art students. Morgantown is a sea of talent, with creativity flowing through its hills, home to painters, sculptors, photographers, and of course musicians. Morgantown, without a doubt, has one of the most talented, you know, artistically diverse, you know, unique and, and just amazing music scenes. Um, as far as the local music in Morgantown, you have a variety. I can tell you that, that Morgantown has nothing, nothing but talent in, in every area of music, every genre of music that I've listened to. The local music in Morgantown is all over the place. Most people expect a place like Morgantown, all you're going to hear is country. That's completely untrue. 123 Pleasant Street is um, a local bar. Its address is 123 Pleasant Street. It's just been the local spot for all the local bands. It's usually packed. People are standing um, throughout the whole show. And of course, there are a lot of people there that have followed these local bands. Um, so they are singing along, they know the words. It's a very happening um, place to be. 
anybody who comes here and you know listens to the music, whether it be at you know one two three, um, down at the brew pub, uh, at Black Bear, there's always some different kind of music that you can appreciate. <laughs> I mean, there's so many talented people that do so many different, unique things. There's also jazz. There's several jazz bands around here. They perform uh, different places around town. Like, at the, they could perform at, at a bar in downtown. There's a lot of different venues for uh, music here in Morgantown. I think, I think one of the things that fuels Morgantown's culture, you know, is the music here. There's everything. Motown is a virtual greenhouse, a breeding ground for creativity and culture place where individuality thrives, all driven by mountaineer spirit, a small town with a big city heart, linked through a collective passion. If you do leave at one point, normally you come back, like I know a lot of people who like have moved away for years, and years and years, and then, then they end up moving back here. You know, even though I, I may leave, Soon one day I'm always going to come back because i got to create new memories. For 15 years I've bounced around the West Coast in Europe and Central America and uh, worked in Alaska and was looking for a place like Morgantown. Um, Morgantown sucks you back in. My wife came here with me for the first time while we came up to visit old friends here in Morgantown. She's like, why don't we stay here for a while? This place is great. I find it inspiring anytime people can overcome all the trials and tribulations and stress and you know lack of money or anything else they're going through on a daily basis and still treat others good and still be willing to reach out and give a hand to somebody or to do something positive or give back. I mean, I find that to be inspirational in itself. And I see a lot of people doing that at Morgan Town. We live by the motto, Mountaineers are always free. Um, and we feel like a really, uh, we're a connected bunch of people, but we're also an extremely independent bunch of people. We go off and we do amazing things. There's so many people that you hear about that are from Morgantown that have gone off and done like awesome things and then they come back and visit and you're just like, oh, that's so cool, they came back, they remember us. Coming to a good place should make you feel good. And the people, I think, work to make this place feel good to the people who come here. If you come to Morgantown, you can expect that you're going to see or hear or do something that's memorable. Um, I like visitors to my home to have the same feeling about it that I do. I'd say even if it's not a music you think you're into, go to 123 Pleasant Street or, or go to another venue in town and hear something different. See the talent that Morgantown has to offer. Go to one of these you know, restaurants around here like Black Bear and, and places like that where they're doing something unique and different, you know, experience that. Um, I love this town and there's so much cool stuff here. It's just a unique and wonderful place to be. Everybody should come here at least once. It's like nowhere I've ever been before. It's somewhere I'm always going to look forward to coming back to. Mm -hmm. It's somewhere I always hate to leave. No matter how big Morgantown grows at the core, I think it's just that feeling of no matter where you're from, you come to Morgantown and you feel like you're home. I'll always call Morgantown home. Home, sweet home. a place where the wildflowers grow I just wake up in the morning and look right outside my window 
The sounds of dad's guitar Mama's voice flows in the breeze All our grass down here grows blue And that's alright with me It's where I'm from Oh, it's my home My home sweet home drive too fast, we just take our good old time, why miss out on all the beauty and the sun that always shines, city folks don't know what it's like to live country life so free, grab your t-shirt and your blue jeans, come and take a ride with me to where I'm from, oh my home, home sweet home. Across the land, seeing snow up in the mountains, take a midnight walk on sand. All across the whole world, there is beauty to be found. Nothing ever will compare to that West Virginia ground. It's where I'm from. Yes, it's my home, my home sweet home. 